certain partners for this event. Yes. Wait, how yes. did wait? Sorry, some of us are familiar with the global citizens uh, ritual, you know, the course and what they do. But how did how did this <laughs> partnership happen? How did this happen? It's been um, about uh, two years now since we've been in touch with global citizens. For uh, the last two years, we've been working with them back and forth. Um, this event was supposed to have happened last year, but. Uh, it, it, it didn't happen last year and um, when we got a call again at the beginning of the year to start situation for this year we didn't even think that it was going to be happening but here we are talking about a fantastic show put together by a fantastic team so Kojo we know you have a lot of other your, your team is huge eh? just to paint a picture for us uh, you and your folks at uh, Big Ideas Consult uh, what is feedback like for you hours after the event what is media feedback from maybe vendors, even from your partners? Uh, give us a general view on what you've received so far in terms of uh, well, feedback. You, you know, this event was um, being live on several TV stations across the world, including TV3 mm. and you. other um, local stations. And the feedback has been one that is very humbling. And it goes to, it, to to you know show that it's possible here in Ghana that given all the resources that one needs to do uh, their work at that level, it can be done and it's possible. Mm. Mm. And I'm I'm happy to say that a lot of local uh, vendors mm -hmm. were part of the production. You know, uh, key amongst them, I would like to say that. We had a local lighting partner. Mm -hmm. We had a local sound company that was also part of it. We had um, all the security that you saw were local security, um, health and safety were from local, you know, uh, uh, resources, ticketing and back of stage, back of house, um, uh, accreditation were all local. So many local companies were part of it. In every aspect of the production, there was a local company that was working with mm. foreign team to make sure this happened. Mm. Clearly, this is one that injects direct cash into our economy, right? Well, no doubt about the fact that this is a, a very, very expensive um, uh, production. There's no doubt about it. I mean, if you've been on site for, for close to uh, a month working, then definitely you you need the resources that will necessitate you know such a production. We have a, a huge team of artisans and you know uh, professionals working round the clock, eating and you know being being on site. It takes a lot to actually keep the whole cycle running, and and there's no doubt that a lot of you know money has gone into producing what we all saw and, and appreciate. Wow. Uh, uh, so, so if, yes, I mean, you mentioned earlier that when the uh, environment is good, the ambience is good and favorable for all partners involved, we are capable of pulling off some of these things. Uh, I mean, that brings me to my final question on that aspect of uh, our interview. What, what, what has taken us so long eh, to get it right like this? The first, the expertise. The first thing I'll mention is the expertise. On this production, we have, we've learned a lot, and we've learned that some of the things that we do here, even though it gets the work done, it's not, you know, uh, um, up to the standard out there. And so we needed to adapt quickly to how this is done out there at that top level to be able to match up. because. If you know about Global Citizen yesterday, it was a two-city event. Yeah, As yeah, we had yeah. ours in Accra, mm. immediately uh, um, Asha signed off the show in Accra. He also signed on to the New York one at um, uh, um, Central, um, Park. Mm. Central Park. Yeah. And so we needed to match up to that, 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 that level so that when you switch over to Central Park, it will not look so different from what you saw in Accra. Mm. And everyone that watched the two shows was to the fact that the standard that we raised here in Accra was comparable to what 
you know, everyone watched and saw at Central Park. And some of us want to be biased by saying that it was, uh, I mean, it's like we really spoiled there, my brother. We spoiled well, there. Well, even, we spoiled. Even, even part of my foreign team that were here, you know, were all saying it like, you know, we really, really, really gave Central Park, like, yeah, because I mean, I know it dipped. A lot of people were like, No, even in the comment section, some of us followed their pages on there, just picking up feedback for purposes of our discussion today. And they were like, No, it dipped. Viewership even dipped when we switched because uh, we're even looking at the lineup here. We are looking at uh, yeah. the sustaining energy for that long. I don't know how yeah. you guys got it. And even the quality of the crowd, even though it's a free event, ticketing, and all that. I don't know how you received your crowd. It was Nobel. I mean, we, at the beginning, a lot of people were very, very skeptical about this thing working in Ghana because this was a, a, a ticketed event, but it was free. And you just, it was like, first it was a new app that we have never used in Ghana before. You needed to get onto the app or to get onto the website and to register and get, you know, your password and all that through and then start taking action. A lot of people doubted whether this was going to be possible in Ghana. But I kept telling people that we, at the back end, we are targets for the day, targets for the week, and targets for every session of, of our draws that we're having. And once we're meeting those you know, targets, it didn't matter if people thought it wasn't very, very popular out there or not. We knew what we were doing, that it was going to be a sold-out event, and it was. I mean, when the, the, the doors were open, within the first two hours, we had almost about 5,000 people coming through the door. These were people who were scanned because oh. all the tickets that were issued were digital tickets. Mm. And that so it was easy to at track. The, at the point. Mm. It was very, easy very to easy track. To track mm. which doors people were coming through, mm. which, which gates needed more help because you could see more traffic coming through and then you needed to send security. Like we, we made good use of technology, mm. which existed in Ghana already, mm -hmm. but had not been, I mean, we don't really, really apply this you know, so many times we, we, we had a dashboard that showed the, the, the traffic at every entry point. So if, if this entry point needed more personnel, you just move them from this side to that side and then make sure that you manage the traffic flow mm -hmm. at that side. You know, and these are technology that we have here in Ghana. You know, the t t ticketing campaign that was used. Mm -hmm. IR Tickets mm -hmm. uh, uh, did a fantastic job, made sure that everyone who deserve to have a ticket or issue their ticket. And on the day, at the point of entry, it was smooth flow for everyone getting through the doors and coming to have mm. a great time. Mm. And even the time of day that the event was done was unprecedented, Not, nothing like we've seen. Usually Ghanaians like to come out at night. Yes. But after two o'clock, when we watched the CCTV cameras, we could see traffic building up behind the walls. And that w was a very, 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 very great indication of a very great night that we were expecting. So we were ready. I I'll be asking you about whether you think Ghana is ready for December. Well, the world is ready for December in Accra. Because you're one of the big brains behind most of the major events. Uh, well, that I'm talking behind the scenes, eh? putting yeah, in work yeah. for some of these big events uh, later in the, uh, in the year. But in case you just join us, guys, we're having a conversation with Kojo Poku. He's the team lead, executive director for Big Ideas Consult, their local partners for the Global Citizen Festival Accra. And we're just having a big review about what happened over the weekend. And I'm getting lots of questions here. One wanted to know, Kojo, which uh, mm -hmm. area of uh, your budget, <laughs> or let me put it this way, which area or what 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 consume most of your budget especially apart from the musicians apart from the musicians funny you enough work funny enough some of the things that we really really spend a lot of money uh, uh was areas that ordinarily on our local productions here we don't we don't focus more we focus more on the welfare of workers this time everyone you don't say. Who, everyone who worked who who came to the site who realized that all the workers were properly kitted. Everyone was wearing a helmet when we were building. Everyone had reflective jackets on. Those who needed to have safety uh, steel toe uh, shoes to work did so. Everyone was catered for. We had two meals a day for the workers that worked on site. And we made sure that there was ambulance 24 hours. Anyone we had to work through overnight, there were ambulances parked there 
just in case somebody needed a medical attention, you know, and there was fire service, everything that we needed for the comfort of the people who were was taken care of. And ordinarily, so Giovanni, you work on, on productions here. We yeah. don't usually mm. take care of, of some of these things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we made sure that that was taken care of. And that was one of the areas that we really, really made sure that, you mm. know, we, we, didn't, we didn't get it right. I, I love the fact that you also mentioned that you, you, you guys also learned on the job because I'm sure just like working with your other partners, you got exposed to other areas that ordinarily you would probably have ignored or paid least attention to. Is that the case? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. It, it, you know, in Ghana, there are no institutions that train people for some of these areas that we work. You know, you can be you, you can be a carpenter, but to be a set builder is a different thing altogether. The kind of skill that you need to build a set as a carpenter is different from the kind of set of skills that you will need mm. to build a wardrobe mm. as a carpenter. Mm. And, you know, if you know the industry, you understand that over time, we have evolved. The kind of sets that Ghanaian, you know, companies put up these days for award shows and stuff, we've really, really, really come of age. But we still needed to learn a lot to add to what we have to be able to um, achieve the standards that, that we also are with Well, we want to have you share your final words with my listeners, uh, Kojo Poku. I um, just want to thank Ghanaians for showing such enthusiasm and um, great uh, uh, response to the Global Citizen Movement. I mean, now we have over 30,000 global citizens. For everyone who came, you are a global citizen right now. The world is out there for you to explore, and we know that you have taken actions that will go a long way to support the cause for which we all spend time, money, resources to give a fantastic show. And so for those who don't know about Global Citizen, go out there, download the Global Citizen app, keep on taking actions, keep on supporting the movements that we we have uh, uh, brought to this side of the world. And um, um, thank you very much for coming to the show. Mm. Wait, one final one. Is it possible they'll, they'll make a part two or come back after all they've seen and witnessed? Um, we're going to have a review of, 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 of the event, you know, to get feedback and everything later on in the week. As I speak now, we are still tearing down. This is a set that was built for three weeks, so you can imagine how many more days we need to go before we can clear Charlie. out the independence day. So, so, uh, so wait, 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 wait. You paid for the space for the duration that you had it, even after the event, you paid for that same space. Well, well, we are happen? here. Nobody can come and have an event here now. So, so that's it, so that's it, how it works. Yes, that's how it works. You once you rent a venue, you, it, it, it's for a number of days. And if the fact that you are you have done with the event does not necessarily mean that you will not be charged for it. But it it mm. it it's for a cost, and uh, for us, it's very very important that we we give Ghanaians what we think they deserve, something that we can be compared to the international shows that Global Citizen is known for around the world. You know, in, in 2019, Global Citizen was in South Africa, and they took Beyoncé to South Africa. Mm-hmm. And and we needed to get something like that in Ghana, you know, even if it wasn't Beyoncé. You know, Asha yeah. is at that high level as Beyoncé yeah, is. Sure is. And even for our local artists, everyone gave up their very, very, very best mm. that the whole world is talking about and we just only began. So, so Kujo, I thought we we're done with this interview, but I'm now getting loads of other questions. Uh, okay. My friend, uh, my colleague here, Kawa, will be asking you one as well. But uh, okay. is it also, well, let's talk about partnership with government okay. agencies. How involved was the government of Ghana in this project? Since you are a local well, partner. Well, we, we, we were very, very uh, um, happy with the kind of support that Ghana government has given the global citizen, you know, uh, in terms of um, all the necessary uh, agencies, all the all the agencies and ministries, you know, and and um, departments, every one of them, from the security services to the fire services and um, all the other um, uh, ministries like uh, culture, the 
PT of Accra, the mayor's office. I can't, I can't mention all them, but every one of them gave us the support that we needed to be able to do such uh, an event. Whenever we knocked on doors, mm. everyone opened up to help whenever, you know, uh, uh, you know, wherever it was necessary. And we really, really appreciate that. Um, um, Kojo, so this is not a question. It's just um, to say congratulations to you. I think that you guys were, uh, were incredible with, with everything that you did, the organization and everything. But please, this is from me and my friends and the many thousands who, who were at the Independence Square on Saturday. We, we want them to come back. So, so, so please, please do something about it. Well, what, 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 what Global Citizen has done now yeah. is tell the world that it's possible here in Ghana. That, that for me, is a very, very mm. big statement. Yeah. It's possible yeah. that when we collaborate, mm. you know, this event wasn't about just big ideas. Yeah. It was a great collaboration between a lot of local companies, international companies that came together to pull this together. Yeah. I will not sit here and take all the, the credit from... Yeah, but for if, if, if they <laughs> unmute your mic on Zoom, uh, all he's saying <laughs> is that if it's your turn to speak for us... <laughs> Just throw in that word that yeah. Ghanaians, yeah. per the feedback yeah. you're picking, mm -hmm. want yeah. another one. Yeah. And uh, we'll be excited yeah, to I mean, them. I mean, yesterday on Twitter, people were threatening to destroy the environment some more so that, so that, so they, that come they will back. come back. <laughs> <laughs> let's, not, let's not do that. Let's not, let's not do that. Let's, let's, let's make sure that Global Citizen uh, 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 sees the impact of the work that they have done in this country. Let them see that we are saving our environment more and that the the job mm, that they come yeah. to do here has been very impactful. Yeah. So that maybe it will it will tell them that oh okay, the little that they did mm. got a lot of response. So if they if they come in again, maybe they can get bigger response. All right. So, you, so final, 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 final question. What, what were you involved in choosing the acts from here? Uh oh. We're on the okay. So this is <laughs> this is this is the question that I've had to answer so on so many platforms. Listen, we are local uh, uh, partners. What it meant is that if they wanted to buy uh, a redfish, they will find out from us. Oh, we want to buy redfish. Which 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 company would you or who who would you recommend that we buy the redfish from? And we will say, oh, uh, Osu Night Market. Uh, the woman at the first one, the first store, uh, redfish is fine, fine. But there's also somebody at Agbogbushi. She too, she the first one, uh, you know. So, in terms of of uh, choice of act, we give our recommendation on who we think, you know, uh, 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 fit what they were looking for. But the final decision as to who mounts the stage was up to Global Citizens Talent Team to decide and choose. A lot of names were mentioned. Mm. A lot of artists were mm. were were sent to them. You know, and then they they made their choice based on several criteria and several you know uh, um, things that they look out for in in the artist. They they didn't highlight some of those criteria for you. They didn't mention. Well, it, I mean, what you must understand is that Global Citizen is is an NGO, and so for an NGO, um, they, they they look out for certain things. Some your energy must match your energy. Your 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 outlook out there must be very positive and must reflect what they stand for. If if it was if it's an NGO that supports uh, a certain kind of cause and you the artist you are against that cause, it, it will be it will be it will be improper for them to put you on their stage. So it's safe to say that mm. for everyone that was chosen they they uh, uh, um, they felt that you represent what mm. they are also pushing and so it will be uh, in sync for them to put you on their platform. So I think all the artists, they look at your profile, they, they look at what you stand out for, they look at your image out there in the world, because let's not kid ourselves. Mm. This show was not only for Canadian. Mm -hmm. That's why they had completely unknown artists in this market who were brought in to perform, because they needed to appeal to a global audience. So your global appeal must also, you know, be 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 out there for everyone to to see. And so I I, I, I think that you know all those things were taken into consideration. That's in right. Selecting whoever you know mounted the platform. But let's let's let 
let me put this out there. Mm -hmm. The fact that somebody was not on it mm -hmm. does not necessarily mean that, you know, um, 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 they did not necessarily match the criteria. Mm -hmm. This is a very serious concept that global citizen is coming. And like you're saying, who knows? Next time, it's going to be somebody else. It's going to sure. be several other artists. You know, I was pushing for uh, some other gospel artists to be included mm. in the team. I, I made it known that we mm. are we are a secular company. Uh, sorry, we are a secular a nation, but we are also a very, very religious, religious. Mm. Uh, 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 um, a nation. So it would be nice to have some, some gospel artists That's in there. Okay. In but the end, they, they didn't go for it, but I, I know very well that they've come to Ghana, they've mm -hmm. had a, 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 a taste of our culture, and so maybe next time they may consider. All right. Uh, I, and I, we hope they were well catered for, well compensated for oh. their jumping on this course. Eh? You know, I, I have to say that, that no artist was paid for a performance fee for mm. this. No artist was paid a performance fee mm. for this. Yes. Everyone who mounted the stage did so out of the benevolence, the benevolence wow. of, 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 of their heart. And, um, the, the global citizen cost is bigger than how much money you make out mm. of a performance on that stage. Not Every, not even Asha. Um, <clears throat> yes, everyone, and and, and and that goes across the world for every global citizen concert that has happened all over the world. Mm. All over the world, global citizen, you know, artists who perform who perform on those stage do not take an, a, a performance fee. A performance fee. For, for mounting, you know, the stage. All right. So it's a big organization. It's a great platform mm. for mm. an artist to be on. Mm. And I think that anyone who mounts the stage look at several things that they are involved in before they decide to do so. Thank you very much, Kojo Poku. Big Ideas Consult. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much, Giovanni. All right. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> car. Yeah. So, in other.